What's going on guys, I'm going to make another video, in this one, I'm going to be showing you how to make a modern house. On, okay, yeah, that's definitely too loud. Maybe a little bit, this is probably like my 50th modern house, or somewhere around there, let's actually check. Because I have a playlist dedicated to modern houses, and this is a waste of time. Um, so yeah, here it is. Okay, it's 38. Which is, yeah, not as many as I thought it was. So, um... I was originally just gonna have it at the um, bottom half with one row of dark oak. But then I was like, you know what? Why don't I make a whole second floor? So yeah, I got carried away. I always get carried away with modern houses. Never suburban houses, always modern houses. I mean, yeah, that's a little bit carried away, but whatever. Now, so I'm going to do my modern apartment building, which I literally just built on, um, Saturday. This is a, um, it's a pretty complicated build. There are lots of diagonals, lots of shapes, lots of things to mess up. And also lots of materials. Here's the roof, in case you were curious, even though you're not, you're not. Space we need for this is a 29 by 21, not like I'm telling you what you are and are not capable of, or not capable of, but interested in and the materials you've been needing for this you need more than nine they are gray concrete light gray concrete white stained glass panes dark oak planks acacia door white stained glass block smooth stone block Smooth stone slab, dark oak fence, and you also need um, grass blocks, any flowers, and I think that's it. No, there's something we're missing. What are we missing? I don't think we're missing anything else. Then what did I get instead of glass blocks? Because I was missing that. I don't know. Oh, like black concrete, duh. How stupid am I? Literally, you can't get much stupider. Anyway, starting at the front right hand corner of your 29 by 21 grid cough cough, if you made it, count backwards by one and go up by three with light grid concrete. We say dark oak fence. And we don't have the required materials. And we can't get rid of anything yet, which is a shocker. But yeah, you're gonna want to count, um, come back to this bottom like with concrete and count left by seven. No, eight. And then place a smooth stone block. Bring that smooth stone block forward one and backwards two. Bring the front block here left with five smooth stone slabs. And a smooth stone block. Bring that smooth stone block backwards by four. Now, these three rows here you're going to bring left until you touch the other row with smooth stone blocks. And just like that. You're going to want to place a smooth stone block in the center here, so if you follow the center slab. And then a stone block to the right of it. On the left block of these two, place an acacia door. And then on the right and the top of it, place white stained glass blocks. There's kind of your front and center, a little bit, not really. You're going to place two rows of lightweight concrete left and right of the shape. And also, is it two rows on top? Yes, it is. It only looks like one, but it is actually two. Here's this top row you can't see because it's black concrete. Unless you want to make the top row dark oak planks, you could... For ceiling, um, and floor, I don't think it will mess it up. It may. No, it shouldn't. Also, shut up, frickin' chinchillas. God. <laughs> Take the right and left rows of this shape. And bring them backwards with one row of, like, great concrete. Now, this side, actually... Okay, so the right side, you're gonna wanna do it. The left side, you don't have to, however, I'm gonna just for purposes of this video. 
and for easier explanations of things. Bring this left row, the bottom row of it, le left with five gray concrete. Six. I'm gonna mess up a lot of numbers in this video, so be prepared for that. Bring up the left and right rows of this by five. Connect the top two rows of this together with gray concrete. Fill in your open gap, which should be a 4 by 3 in with white stained glass panes. Do I say my um, dimensions wrong? It should be length times width. No, I'm saying them right then. Because I've heard them said other ways normally, but I don't know. It should be length times width times height. Or height. So it will be length, width, and then length, height. I don't know, it's dumb. Take the um, bottom left corner of this gray concrete, bring it forward with three smooth stone, and bring that smooth stone right by four, or the front row at least. Bring the bottom row of this gray concrete backwards with, I should know this number, eight gray concrete. I do actually know the number. I need it, okay. Time for my pictures, because I need to check something. It's not because I'm dumb and don't know what I'm talking about. It's because I need to make sure that something's right. Which it is. Take the left and right rows of this and bring them up by five. Actually, no. Only the back row. You do not want to bring the front row up by five. Only the... Only the back row. And then connect, again, the top two rows together. No, wait. It is only the top row, isn't it, for all of these? Yeah. It's only the top row. So this should be a four by four. I'm dumb. I'm very dumb. So these should be connected, and then it should be. So this should be, I believe, a seven by four. It should be a seven by four, and then a four by four <coughs> that we have so far. Yeah, I don't know why I have brain farts like that. Take this um, back row here of gray concrete. Bring it to the left with two rows of light gray concrete. Bring that bottom row of lightweight concrete backwards with five smooth stone. And a great concrete. A lightweight concrete, not a great concrete. Bring that lightweight concrete up by five. And connect it forward. The three middle smooth stones, these three, are going to want to come to the left with the row of smooth stone slabs. Now... The middle row, you're not going to replace any white stained glass panes on. So two on either side, just like that. What are they even doing back there? They jump around so much, those dang little fluff balls. So you should have, um, let me do this really quick. You should have this. So you have an opening in the center, and then you have your two rows of panes on either side. And then you're going to place two rows of five white stained glass panes on top of that like that. I have to sneeze. Why? I don't know. Okay. Bring the two smooth stones that have not come to the left with any block yet, and you're gonna leave it- you're gonna count left by six. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and place two like right concrete. So do that from both. So, one, two, so, so make sure you're counting from this one. So it should be this one is zero, and then this is one, two, three, four, five, and then six. And the sixth block is going to be a lightweight concrete along with the seventh block. Those two lightweight concretes are going to want to come up with three more rows. And because I'm dumb, I need to make sure that I'm doing this correctly. I am, I think. I can't really see because I'm dumb at photographing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good word. So the inner rows are going to want to come up with a dark oak fence. Just like that. And then we can't really do much now. So bring this back row of lightweight concrete right, if you're on the inside of the build, by 20 with lightweight concrete. I got a number right, and it was a bigger number. That's the only number that I actually know, which is unfortunate, but it's a fact. Now, the dark oak plank section, which is the roof, pretty- well, no, technically it's a second story, is a very weird one, because 
And with the way I've designed this, it's not like a perfect outline of the build. You can kind of just tell by looking at it. So yeah, we'll, you'll see what I did in a minute. Bring this right row of lightweight concrete here forward by a row. Forward down to the left with a row with a row of gray concrete. Bring that row of gray concrete forward one. Forward down to the right with a row of light gray concrete. Forward with a row of light gray concrete. Left with a row of light gray concrete. Forward down to the left with a or backwards down to the left. Pardon me with a row of gray concrete. And then, yeah, bring the bottom and top row of this gray concrete section with gray concrete by three. Connect those third blocks together <clears throat> and fill in your two by four gap in with white stained glass panes. There are a lot of windows on this modern house. I think this is the most windows I've ever had on a modern house. It may not be, but, cause yeah, I do have really big ones, like that probably has more, but like, for this size, it has a lot of, probably total panes, it probably is the most. Move four down to the left from this great concrete shape and place a little light great concrete. Bring that row left one, forward one, and four down to the left of the row great concrete. Just like that. So as you can see, that's kind of like what we're doing with this, except just flipped. As you can see, it's pretty much the same, sort of. If you put this one over here, you'd get a 2 by 3 So it's a fact. And bring the top and bottom blocks of this forwards by 6. Of this great concrete shape. And then connect that front row, the, the, the front blocks together. Fill in your, f I want to say 5x4, yes, your 5x4 gap in with white stained glass panes. Now I'm just going to make sure we did not miss anything. We missed that, and I believe that's it. You're going to want to come to this um, porch area, and the second block's moving inward, so these two, as you can see. So if you're at these front ones by the... Slabs are going to count backwards a block and break your smooth stone block and replace it with a light gray concrete. Bring those concretes up by three and up by one with a dark oak fence. This pillar right here is actually wrong. It should be about four light gray concrete and then a dark oak fence. My bad. So come to the front left corner of your um, area here, which currently is kind of just like a gap. You're going to count forwards one and left three in place up going up for like right concrete and then a dark oak fence you can get rid of a bunch of your materials those being smooth stone slabs white stained glass panes gray concrete and like right concrete and then you can move the rest of your stuff to the front Everything's gonna be a little messed up, but that's okay. Oh no, you do still need your light gray concrete. You need it for one thing. So yeah, just keep it next to your fence because you don't need it for windows. You need it for up another pillar. And then you can get out for new materials, a black concrete, glass, and then you will also need flowers of really any choice. So come to this spot here and you're gonna fill this with glass. And then you can just get some flowers. I'll get like two random flowers. There, these two. And then I'll just put. And I'll just let bone meal decide what goes here and here. Shocker, glass. And on top of every dark oak fence, you're gonna want to place a black concrete. Now this will be um kind of fixed up later. But for right now, this is what we're gonna be doing. Place a dark oak fence on top of those black concretes. And we're going to be connecting them. So these four at the front, they're all going to want to be connected. And then this um, white one here is going to want to go backwards until you overhang the back of the build by one. 
I do need to check something. I want to make sure that okay. So I'm gonna I might change this, but we'll see. So this gap here, you're gonna actually bring this one backwards, this um black concrete, and then you're gonna want to bring it and connect it to this one. So bring this one then backwards. And bring this one right until you touch the wall, then bring it backwards too, and then connect it across to the other one. Just like that. Now you can actually make this a perfect square like this. However, I'm not sure how this does work. This may work a little interestingly. No, it doesn't. So yeah, if you do want to do that, go ahead. I'm going to just leave it like this. But this row here is going to want to come outwards about, just like that. And then your open gap here, this entire area. Not the roof here, you do not want to fill this in, but this open gap like here. It's all going to be black concrete. Yeah, there's a lot of black concrete in this build. It's already turning dark, it's so sad. I want summer back. I forgot how freaking early the sun sets in fall and winter. It's unfortunate. But... On the bright side, I guess, I get to, I don't know, get to experience some daylight in the morning. But it's so sad, I get home from school and I have like two hours before the sun sets to go outside, which I have not done at all because I've been doing stuff, like dealing with the turtles filter, which was, um, need to be changed. Can't hear it anymore, so that's good. It sounds sarcastic, but it actually is good. Once you have done that, you should have this. Now, your dark oak planks. On top of your, um, light gray concrete, you're going to want to place dark oak planks. You can include that one. I'm not going to. So, just like this. And I need to check something again really quick. Okay. So, you should have this. And this dark, this dark oak plank and this dark oak plank are going to be destroyed. So come to this front section here, and you're going to want to connect this right row backwards. Connect this right. Connect this one backwards. And then take this one, and you're going to want to bring it f forward. And I do not know. And it's going to want to connect um, to the right. Now, I don't actually know. I want to say it's a 7, but I'm not sure. I need to double check. Technically, yes. So this corner here, you're gonna break it and replace it with a light gray concrete. Bring that concrete up by three. Is it three or is it a row well, four? Or what, what is it? Okay, I think that's the last time I'm gonna need to check. And you're gonna bring this light gray concrete, the second one, right, right and backwards by six with white stained glass panes. Just like that. Then complete your row of dark oak planks by placing an, like another row of dark oak planks. So we're, other than the um, dark oak planks, we place white stained glass panes. Every other every other dark oak plank is gonna want to come up with a dark oak plank. Terrible explaining, explaining, but whatever. You're gonna want to take this block here, this dark oak, and bring it right with like seven-ish smooth stone. And then bring this one here backwards with, like, eh, whatever amount. So you should have kind of this. And then just break your extra blocks or whatever. And then your open gap is going to want to become smooth stone. If you do have any troubles with this, leave any questions in the comments and I'll try to explain them. So that should be a row of six smooth stone so the third block moving in on every on both sides you're gonna want to bring out or bring I guess towards the wall with an extra smooth stone 
just like that. So you should have your kind of like, what is it, five, and then your twos. And then you're going to place acacia doors on those smooth stone. Okay, I was checking something. Take um, your dark oak planks and just kind of rim it around your doors. Going all the way around, just like that. And come here to the fun and going left to right or right to left. It does not matter. Place one dark oak plank, five white stained glass pins, and a dark oak plank. Down on the right side, you're going to go backwards with two dark oak planks. Is it two or is it one? I can't tell. Two. Four white stained glass panes. And four dark oak planks. Bring it right now with... Oh my god, I went way back. Bring it right with... Three dark oak planks. And four white stained glass panes. Bring those panes backwards with... Mm, okay, I messed up, didn't I? Not on this, on the original. Yeah, I did. You're gonna bring this white stained glass pane backwards with two white stained glass panes, and then three dark oak planks. Bring this dark oak plank across the back of the build, and then bring it forwards on the left side with two dark oak planks, three white stained glass panes and three dark oak planks. Finish off your row here in the center with dark oak planks. For around your doors and stuff, yeah. You're gonna want to copy this entire row one more time. And instead of just kinda going over the doors, you're gonna wanna place a dark oak plank on top of the doors. Now, when I said I made the mistake on the original, I meant that this should be, um, four and four but I guess it does kind of look good that way so if you want to make it four and then backwards three instead of backwards two you can that's just kind of a little self error and uh, whatchamacallit kicked into gear I don't actually know what it is it's a machine and it's annoying sometimes once you've done that you're gonna place a row of dark oak planks on top of this to kind of top off this. Now this little dark oak sh plank shape, if you don't like it, you can literally just cut it off. Obviously I would suggest leaving one row just as a look. If you want, it's not necessary, it's your choice. But yeah, bring up this light gray concrete here with a dark oak fence, a black concrete and a dark oak fence. Once you've done that, you're gonna place a black concrete on top of every dark oak plank. Which is always fun. This is a lot of black concrete. It is like two ceilings worth of black concrete. Connect this um, front left black concrete over to this um, black concrete and then connect this back. And then you're gonna place a row of black concrete outside from. So you're gonna place a row going outwards from this entire shape on every side. Again, making sure that your corners are right angles, like. They're not, they're full blocks. They're not kind of just like that, that. They should be full on. It's a normal procedure by now, but again, new people, they, I get them sometimes. Not very often, but. Oh well, that's my misery, not yours. Fill in your roof here with black concrete. It's not even, it's not even misery. YouTube is kind of just like a fun passion to do. It's also putting yourself out there, which in some scenarios could be very bad. But if you watch your step carefully and don't slip and fall, then you're good. So yeah, there's my message. Don't slip and fall, because it's not good. Because if you do... Yeah. 
pretty much long and short of it is don't give away personal information. It's like turn into a health lesson all of a sudden. Which health is irrelevant to me? It's important, kind of, apparently, according to my PE teacher, but it's not it's a boring unit, or boring, uh, boring subject, in my opinion, at least. You guys have your opinions, I have my opinions. So once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is your modern house complete. Yeah, you got a lot of those at this point. If you've built all of them, then you should get a thumbs up. Why is that at the top? I did not put a video in there. Maybe I did. Thank you guys for watching this video and hope you guys did enjoy this video as I already did save as many playlists as usual. I do need to make sure that I didn't put a video in here on accident. No, I didn't. Oh, right, because the apartment building. That makes sense. Have a fantastic rest of your day or night and I will see you on the next one. Peace!